Hey family, Pastor Jay here. Listen, I just want to let you know that despite of what you may be experiencing, God is still on the throne and God is still good. God is good all the time, all the time God is good. So despite how bad our circumstances may be, God still reigns, God is still good. And this is a reminder that I want to give you all. Out of John chapter 16, verse 33, where Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me, that in this life you shall have tribulation, but do not fear because I have overcome the world. Jesus is letting us know that despite of what we may be going through right now, the end is already taken care of. God, through Jesus Christ, has already given us the victory. So despite of what it may look like, despite of what it may feel like, we can still rest in the fact that we have victory in Jesus Christ. Um, now that we're dealing with social distancing and quarantine and all of these things that we're going through, the pandemic, the NBA shut down, and that really broke my heart when the NBA shut down. And so now they're playing all of these old games. Every now and again, you'll see an old game on NBA TV or on ESPN. And a few weeks ago, we were watching at my house the 2016 NBA Finals, 2016 NBA Finals, Game 7. LeBron James and uh, Kyrie Irving led the Cavs back from being down three games to one against the Golden State Warriors. 2016, Game 7 NBA Finals. I'm at the crib watching it with my wife Janelle, my stepson Dylan, and our youngest son, Jeffrey Allen III. We all watching the game, and LeBron James and the Cavs, they were down in some parts of the game, and uh, the pressure was on. It's in the fourth quarter, and my wife is getting worried. She's panicking. She's, she's dealing with anxiety because she doesn't want to see LeBron James lose the game. She doesn't want to see the Cavs lose the game against the Golden State Warriors. But my stepson, Dylan, he, he reminded us, like this game happened in 2016. So Dylan, he already knew what was going to happen before it happened. He knew that Kyrie was going to hit big shots. He knew that LeBron James was going to have defensive stops. Matter of fact, when LeBron James and the Cavs finally won the game, he knew the words that LeBron James was going to speak in the post-game interview. Dylan was not worried. He was not stressed. He was not filled with anxiety because he knew how the game was going to end despite what it looked like for the Cavs and for King James. He knew that even though they looked defeated, King James was going to ultimately get the victory. And you and I as believers, although it looks bad now, we know how this thing is going to end. We know that the King King Jesus is ultimately going to get the victory. So yes, it looks bad. Yes, we may look defeated. Yes, everything is shut down, but we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be anxious. We don't have to be sad and depressed because Jesus says, yes, in this life you shall have tribulation, but believe how this is going to end, that Jesus is overcoming the world. He is alpha, the beginning, and omega, the end. We know how this thing is going to end so we can praise God even in the pandemic because Jesus has overcome the world. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for the power of your word that despite of what we may go through in this life, despite of the tribulations that we experience, we know how this thing is going to end. It's going to end with us getting the victory. It's going to end with us being in your presence. It's going to end with us being changed into your likeness. And so God, we say thank you that despite of the pandemic, we can still get our praise on. That despite of the tribulation, we can still rest in your presence. So God, I ask for reassurance, for affirmation, for confirmation, for promises to be made to your people that despite of the tribulation, we don't have to fear because you have overcome the world. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.